What's going on, Tiger Tran clan? So we're bopping outside. Let's go check on this book, this boat real quick. And if our bro can actually... this is a, Man, they have a really cool artwork that they did for this. I have to say I'm pretty dang impressed. I heard you're leaving. I want to join you. Yeah, dude. I totally want you because you're probably the healer that we don't have yet. I'll be sure... Oh, sure. I'd glad... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you. I'll find someone to take care of Huda while I'm gone. Yeah, dude. The more the merrier, man. Get us get us all sorts. Oh, nice. Sue. She's already in our party. So she has to be support. Yeah, she got sense. She got this dope talisman that makes her her uh her morale go up. Wait, can you use a shield? And uh yeah, she can. Cool. Might as well, right? There's no reason for her not to have a shield. Gosh, it's better for Tiger, but she's not going to be on our front lines. I probably will use her as a slinger, and because like, let's like check out her abilities really quick. Four points unspent, so she's got one point in sling, two in blades. So she will be, she probably will, inevitably, you know, drop some things. Oh, you need rank three to get the aim shot, man. But a bunch of those other people had it can't imagine, man. It's 100 points. So I guess we maybe we need to start saving up. I don't know if she has any combative things. She just has interrupt. Postpone. Oh, yeah. So that's her overwatch ability for her sling, which is good. She's probably got healing. So maybe it's just the NPCs. Sometimes they do that in games where they give NPCs. Oh, she's a cook. Oh, that's good. So maybe what will make our... Well, I don't know if you always need to scout or not. So we might make her a cook, or we might make this lady our cook. I'm not 100% sure. Ooh. It's only two points. Let's let's spend this. These are actually really cheap. So maybe, maybe I'm, like, overthinking this. Oh, she can preserve as well. So she is our cook. Okay, so she will be our... Well, at least our, our cook and our preserver. I'm thinking about this one here infections i just don't want people to necessarily get sick so that's how i was thinking like hey maybe she is our scout but i don't know we might get more people in our party now that i think about it wait where's door oh dorphine or dorphine is actually over this way the clan grows hello dorphine dorphine is in his shop teaching one of the boys of the village how to properly use an aids i don't know what that is they appear to be working on an ore or maybe it's like a chisel i have no idea as you enter the shop he holds his hand in greeting good work kid just keep it like that until the side is done i have to talk to the thane i'll be right back he stretches his his back and continues to shake your hand with a wide smile i believe i have you and your friends to thank for returning my wife's jewelry. What can I do to repay this debt of gratitude? <laughs> like, he does have a big smile. Uh, I mean, he's making ores. What are you working on? But maybe... Ah! I have a lot of work fixing and replacing all things that are broken or stolen in the raid. Right now, I'm showing little Majaborn how to make a new ore for his father. Right after his father broke it across the back of a raider. <laughs> did it? Did we suffer a lot of damage? Hey, it seems that those bastards managed to start a lot of fires and kick in quite a lot of doors. Cove doors working on some replacement locks, so I'll be busy in selling new doors when he's done. I'm sure you're not here to check up on the repair works, are though? Are you? I'm mounting an expedition. We need a new long ship. Oh, 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 dear, my my dear man. I've been waiting for you to come to me with a task since your father's ship went with him into the afterlife. My master built the ship when I was just a young boy. I've always dreamt of completing such a project myself. That's a glorious vessel in its day. Fast and durable, durable, but I think I can build on a design that will surpass my old master. What kind of ship will you make? It'll be a Shakja, like your father's ship. A thin warship with a shallow knee. I'll put a two dozen rowing benches 
so there's room for both you and your herd with some thrall. What do you need? Well, timber first and foremost. You'll need to choose a tree that I can use to form the knee and the stem and the hull. Our nearby forest has several grand old oak. Our old trees that could make a fine ship. If you want me to undertake this project, I'll, I will meet you in the forest and help you choose a suitable tree. If I start immediately, I should have, be able to have your ship ready by late spring. Anything else? We need sails sewn, so I'd ask Dragner and his girls and what they can do. We also need some new tools. My master's old tools are worn by age and shamefully outdated. Her husband, oh, Corfin's attention seems to slip off in the distance. Her husband, Calvdale, should be happy to help me with that. I'll produce a steering oar, some sort of anchor. So he's like thinking, oh, and nothing you need to worry about, but I'll make all the arrangements. I'm not going to hate on this guy, but I, I wouldn't say it like this. I would say, like, make a magnificent ship, so we're going to do this. I, I'm going to trust this guy. He, he already seems like he's motivated, so I don't need to try to talk shit to him to get him, I guess, less motivated. Let me, let, or meet me near the forest of your uncle's house when you have some time, and we'll pick out some timber and get started. Cool. All right. So find at least three different trees in the forest. Sigurd Montadori. Our da daughter <laughs> walks up to you at a brisk pace and stops abruptly at a respectful distance. Tiger, I find something that you may be need to deal with. Make it quick. She spends most of her day roaming the countryside. Sicker tends to know what is happening in your lands better than anyone else. I've come across a group of travelers camping out in the forest. I can't tell if they're armed, so I thought I'd better stay clear for now. How many are they? I saw four in the camp. But there are too much baggage for them to be f just four of them. I think there's six or seven. What colors did they wear? All sorts. Nothing that identifies them as a fighting unit. Hmm. We had to deal with this at once. She lets us shallow Beth to seem she's held it for a while, which con condenses in the cold air as a wisp cloud between you. Lochar and I will keep an eye out for them until you get there. Sigurd checks the knife when her belt and turns to the spot and strides away into the forest. Dang. Unwanted guess. Okay, so options find s optional is find six usable trees instead of just three. Maybe that makes us a bigger, better boat. Do, wait, did he say he was going to handle the stuff with catch gym, though? Let's see if we can repair. How much does it cost to repair the fur helmet? Wait, are you telling me it costs 360 Dolores to repair this helmet or 240 to repair this knife? Maybe that's not that much money in the future, but right now, that price is absolutely butt cheeks horrendous. So we're in a pass. Because, you know, we'll probably end up finding better gear as we progress on anyways. So let's... What's the quest menu? Oh, right. Advent, oh, these are closed. Preparations of the long ship. So this must be a... So, ask. Is she in this town? Basically, I, watch, I just want to make sure I do everything in this town before we leave that we need to. I don't like that it... Oh, people are training. That's good. Good, yeah, definitely. Train it up. A small group of young men and women are from the outlying farms are practicing Ovgar's old training ring. Watch them. Their enthusiasm is great, but their technique leaves much to be desired. Your herd could definitely or your herd could certainly be taught a thing or two. The the war stops and they turn to look at you. The oldest one who recognizes as Aldis or Edis's youngest son answers we'd be honored i don't know if this is going to take time but i was just trying to maybe see if we could do something quickly since we're here the youngest kid a girl from one of the most distant areas of your skiptria 
skip Predria. <laughs> Merely jumps with excitement. Oh, yes! Thane's people against the rest of us. Alright, so we can't do lethal, so we're going into toggle non-lethal attacks, right? Because we don't want to kill our own people, right? <laughs> Alright, so this is... Oh, she does have poisons and stuff. Oh, she can demoralize and reduce all the accuracy. Okay, so that's good. Dust. Blowing dust in the face of any opponent occupying a front hex gives them drugged. Minus fit fitness and perception. Interesting. I don't know if that's actually good. What's a puffball? Launches a mushroom that explodes in a cloud spore covering the hex, an adjacent hex. Treat them as fully covered for the purpose of range attacks. Oh, wow. So it's like smoke bomb. Death blow deals double damage, but only can target immobilized targets. I don't think we're going to be using death blow on any of these chillins. So, but let's get our shield users up front here, and let's get you down here, trying to split some of the damage away from our. And then we'll put you as our archer behind cover. We'll put you here. Just keep you far away, but we can shoot this guy in the back. Oh, these guys are doing, like, no damage, it looks like. This guy might, though. Oh, my gosh! That dude was a straight-up G. Okay, I thought this was going to be easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy, but it does not look like this is going to be the case. Good. Well, at least our, our chitlins, man, are growing to be some great warriors. Oh, there's our support. Okay, so she didn't use Demoralize, which is good. All right, let's, let's do it with this person, though, because... Good. Yes, yell at the children. Tell them that they're worthless. <laughs> uh, let's drug this fool, since... Since, uh... She can't attack, so she can use, but she can't use a move action. So we can't anticipate, but we could... Oh, this is Tiger, so let's... Take this person out, I guess. And then I think we're just going to go and try to wreck people as fast as possible. So let's just fall back and take them out one at a time. I think at this range, we could probably, yeah, drop a quick strike here. What? There we go. Good. All right, we're using non-lethal attacks. Good. <laughs> uh, could you imagine killing our children on accident? Oh, that would be so sad. All right, so who do we want to take out? This guy with this. Yeah, definitely this guy. I'm trying to just think, is there anything that we should do to him? Like, stun him, maybe. What's the chance of stunning him? Does zero damage. I think it's because he has the... Like, these guys I'm not afraid of at all, but this guy could actually do some real damage. So we're going to stun him for now, and then it'll give us time to charge him and crush him up. I think then from here, we'll have you move into distance just to give us an attack of opportunity. I'm going to put him here for now because I want to be able to use charge attack next turn. And then I do want you to just be able to support potentially because I don't know how much damage this person is going to do. So we're going to bop you over here, though there's a part of me that thinks I should have maybe put that person over there. Oh, wait, you can still use a range attack as well? Oh! Cannot use versus low cover. Does he? Ref does this refresh, or is this once per battle? Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Maybe you get this special range shot that you can use once per battle. No! Don't stun me! Oh, she's coming in and stabbing me in the spine! Holy cow! Whoa, look at this little girl. That sword is bigger than she is. All right, good. Well, that guy was stunned. So it looks like inevitably we're probably charging on this person here and try to just take her out quick. We'll get some bonus damage, which is nice. We probably don't need to heal him quite yet. We'll, so we'll save that. What are you up to? She's like over here dancing and whatnot. Only be used on immobilized targets. I don't know exactly how that works or is calculated. 
so interesting. I like that you can attack, move, and then attack again. I, th I think that's very interesting. All right, let's take out this guy because he's the highest DPS threat. There's a part of me that almost wants to stun him, but at this point, I think it's maybe just better. Let's just do damage. Are you stunned? She is stunned. Oh my gosh. All right, can you shoot this guy? 84% chance. So let's try to see 48%. Yeah, this is once per battle, I guess you can use this. See, the thing is, I know I can't kill him in one shot, but we could kill him in two, so I'm going to attempt to go for the two-shotter. Nice! That was, that was a huge boon from this combat perspective. Whoa, wait. Oh, he doesn't get another attack, but he can spot traps. Have you kids laid any traps for me? I didn't think they did. Oh, okay, no, we're good here. Exposed. Oh, it's because he pulled their shield. Dude, these kids are vicious. I hope this, I'm assuming this is probably makes us better attackers, though, which will be good. Oh. I don't know what, once again, I still don't know what haired means. I wish I did. I wish it did give a little bit better, like, tool tips. It just says that it has that effect, but it doesn't actually say what that effect does, which is kind of a bummer. All right, let's bop out some fast attacks on this lady over here. Just take her out, because we got a clear line of sight. I'm sorry, young one. Justice had to be served. <laughs> All right, I don't think we can get to her in this one turn. Oh, but we could drop this charge attack across the map. Oh, that's my one shot. Ah, Kamehameha! Oh! My gosh, dude, that is so good. All right, this person's dual wielding. This person's just using fisticuffs. I, I'm not so afraid of the person with fisticuffs. But let's, let's get over here. Could you imagine if we use death blow on the down children? Oh my gosh. How terrible would that be? What's this? It's like a little spot over here. I don't know what that is. Oh, we were going to go... No, let's just take this person out. I mean, they are using fists, but... I want to take out this little girl. Plus, we can fully take out this person. We'll take out the little girl next. Oh, <gasps> shield block? But you don't even have it. You don't even have a shield, man. What are you shield blocking with? Your mind? Dude, this little girl plays no games at all. Look at her. Oh, camera's freaking out as I'm trying to look at her. No, don't shoot her. That would suck. Okay, good. All right, so we are gonna try to lock down this range person. Well, oh, no! Okay, I guess that wasn't horrible. I was trying to get her in range to heal her just in case, but I, I mean, let's just be careful. Wow, look at this heal. Oh, she's an attack of opportunity. Thank you. Hey, it's good for us to know these things, but hey, now she's not. Because I think if you get knocked unconscious, you have a chance of being injured, and I just did not want any of that. Let's take her out. Go back to the crib. Oh. Oh, you see how she didn't stab her with the pointy end because we're on non-lethal mode? That's pretty dang cool, man. I have to say I really like that. All right, this person has cover, though, so let's pop over here and try to get a shot off. So we can't use our double quick shot. Okay, that's good to know. So let's just blab. It's about to be over. Sorry, young child. Justice had to be served. <laughs> Victory over the children. Ooh, our shield actually got damaged a little bit. Interesting. After the fight, the fallen get to their feet. You can tell these kids have learned a lot from their defeat. Alfson's son holds a respectful nod. Her boys have always been well behaved. Thank you for the fight, Tiger. Do you want to go again? I have business elsewhere. The kids go back to the ring and resume their practice. There will always be people training here. Come back from time to time if you want to try new moves in a safe environment. Oh, interesting. 
So that's actually like a place to where you can practice your new moves and see how things play out. Hmm. There's a quest over here, though. How do we... Oh, this was, yeah, this was the person who has intel on potentially where we can get some loot. So you find Edis next to the farmhouse holding a headless hen in one hand and a knife in the other. The ground is covered with feathers. Oh, there. What brings you kids out here? Don't tell me Ranvai Sao chose this moment to give birth. Pregnant sows are the last thing on my mind right now. Glad to hear it. Just in the middle of plucking hens for dinner, and I'd like to get it done before nightfall. What is this visit about if you're not the sow? I want to ask you about the stories, the ones you told the children. She smiles wistfully, brushing a few wayward feathers from her apron. Oh, it's been so long. Hope I can remember. What do you need to know? You told us there was a gravesite on the hill once. Ancient king was buried with all his treasure. You recognize the glean in Eldis's eyes from your childhood. Yes, that's the story. They said the tomb was protected by dwarves or elves or other such underground creatures. Such horrible vengeance will befall on all who dared to breach its sanctity. Do you know if the tomb is real? Seen it myself. Traveled there through Elvadar when we had just been married. On our way to start a family. Spent the night in a small hamlet at the base of the hill where I heard of the treasure and the creatures that protect it. I wonder if there actually are creatures, because this could be a mythical world. I mean, I'll take them out if there are. Why are you asking about this now? I'm preparing to go on an expedition, and I need the treasure to supply, to, for trade supplies. Where does the, uh, where goes the journey? The Isles across the sea. Stories tell of unprotected coasts and great riches. I have an additional question. The woman finally puts down the chicken and wipes the, her hands on her apron. Tell me, tell you what, come and Come with, oh, let me come with you to the grave. It'll be easier if, if I simply just show you. Uh, if you wish to join, you are welcome. Great. Meet you at the edge of the village when it's time to leave. Right now, though, I really need to finish this hen. Okay. Hmm. Cool. All right, let's check out the rest of the quests that we have, right? Old debts. Search next to the dilapidated... Oh yeah, that's the bandit quest. Travel to Rives and recruit some mercenaries. It will recruit at least nine herdsmen. Consider asking... Oh, Gundar. Yeah. Forgot about that. He's in town right now. I don't know if there's like multiple times you have to talk to him. So, I mean, we might as well once again get the things done in, in the village that we need to right now. I feel like getting the trees would be pretty dang important early because he said it takes him a long time to build, but I don't know if there's actually a timer attached to it or if it just gets done at a specific time. Gunner is still where you left him, a hog curiously sniffing his pants. Good to see you again. Have you just What have you decided to do with me? I've come to with an offer. I want you to join my herd. I accept. <laughs> I think it's because we... I didn't expect it to be this easy. Actually, I thought he was going to... Well, I didn't think it was going to be this easy. Now you may consider yourself a resident of Scourge. I, let's actually ask this, because I kind of want to know what his justification is. Ah, ah, ah! Why would I reject such an offer? You show a remarkable prowess to defeat my men. I'd love to fight by your side. Coltil cuts Gunner's ropes. You'll find a place to stay. For now, at least you can get out of this pig pen. Alden stretches, sneezing, or yeah, squeezing his wrist to get the blood flow again. Then puts out his huge hand to seal the deal. I swear before Odin to father, follow whatever you ask and to serve you with my life. You know, the ironic thing is, I guess he is going to be a defender of our base. Oh, wait, he just he joined our herd. Oh! Okay, so this lady's not with us yet. Dang, she's got an axe and a sling? What's this guy? Yeah, he's got two-handed axe. This is dope. Is this a two-hander? Or, I mean, two hand or two melee weapons, I mean. Wow, 11. That's why this guy was hitting so hard. Look at the DPS output on this thing. Absurdly high. I love it. I'm just wondering... Oh, no, she has knife skills. I was going to say, should we give her a spear? But 
unnecessary. It'll be good to for her to have a shield just in case she has to move into those combat situations like we once did. Okay, unwanted guests. Yeah, we do want to check out these unwanted guests too. Let's just make sure that we go towards the boat first. Because I feel like that, I, in real life, that's what would take the longest. But I do kind of want to take out these unwanted guests just in case. Let's go do this one first. We'll take out the unwanted guests and then we'll go grab the trees. I guess it's maybe we get to determine what kind of ship we want. And I'm not 100% sure which ones we do want. Oh yeah, this is the deadline up here. You have one month to repair your expedition. Each time you make camp, 12 hours pass in rare cases. Yeah, we've, we've seen this before. So what we do know is we want to... I'm trying to figure out where is the quest for the lady where she said she would take us to the place. Maybe we actually had to have that quest queued up. So what I'm thinking about doing is just bop bop. And I think that's what we're going to do. So let's... Three hours travel. Three hours travel. Yeah, let's do this one first. I, I just, I don't like having these people here. Oh, okay. Oh, she is here. You see this? So we do need this lady, right? So I guess it's like, we definitely want the healer. We definitely want her. She does great damage. Range guy, I think will be decent to have. He's a defender. But I mean, we have her who has a shield as well. So let's leave Aslafer here for now. And I mean, because I mean, he is a defender. So his job is to protect. So I don't know if he can to defend the towns if there are people in those kind of like circumstances. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know if there are like two parties per se kind of thing. Wait, what? Wait, what? What just happened here? Why did I, why when I click travel, did it have us go back into the town? That's really weird. Hmm. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. We'll figure out the travel and then we'll be on our way at the beginning of the next episode. So that way we can take out the unwanted guests. This has been Tiger Tran and I'll see you guys next time.